Hello, this is Trilok. I'm a dietitian. In the last video, we discussed how heart disease develops. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes and belly fat are the top contributors. In today's video, let's talk about cholesterol, which is the major cause of plaque buildup. Your body produces about 1000 milligrams of cholesterol each day, even when you're not consuming any cholesterol containing foods. It is mainly made in the liver, but also in other areas of the body like intestines and skin. Cholesterol plays several essential roles in the body. To name a few, it helps make steroid hormones like estrogen and testosterone. The liver uses cholesterol to produce bile acids, which are needed to digest fats. And in your skin, cholesterol is converted into vitamin D3 when you are exposed to sunlight. So cholesterol is not bad. In fact, it is essential, but it becomes a problem only when the blood levels get too high. When you get a lipid profile blood test done, you will see several components, HDL, LDL, VLDL, triglycerides, total cholesterol, and HDL to LDL ratio. In fact, HDL, LDL, VLDL are not cholesterol themselves. These are the vehicles that carry cholesterol through the bloodstream. Let me explain. Cholesterol is transported in three main phases. Cholesterol is transported in three main phases. From food to liver, from liver to tissues, and a cleanup phase from tissues back to the liver. Let's break it down. When you eat cholesterol containing foods like meat, eggs or dairy, and foods containing fats or oils, both the cholesterol and the fat you consume eventually reach the liver. There, cholesterol from food and cholesterol made in the liver is packaged along with triglycerides into a carrier called VLDL. Think of VLDL as a delivery truck loaded with triglycerides and cholesterol. Triglycerides are a type of fat made from excess calories, whether from carbs, fats or even belly fat. As this truck drops off triglycerides to muscles and fat tissues, it becomes lighter and is now called LDL, which mostly carries cholesterol. So, LDL delivers cholesterol to your muscles, skin, adrenal glands and other organs. Then comes the cleanup crew, HDL. Unlike LDL, HDL doesn't deliver cholesterol. It collects excess cholesterol even from artery walls and returns it to the liver. That's why HDL is called good cholesterol. It helps reduce buildup and supports recycling. And that's how doctors assess your cholesterol by looking at the different types of carriers in the blood, not just the total amount. So when does this system go wrong? It becomes a problem when the liver starts making too much cholesterol or doesn't clear it effectively. Several factors contribute to this. High intake of saturated fats, especially palmitic acid, found in palm oil, ghee, butter and fatty meat, stimulates the liver to produce more cholesterol. Palm oil in particular is widely used in restaurants and street foods across India. So eating more fried snacks, cheese, ghee, butter and meat can potentially raise your cholesterol levels. You can identify this by elevated LDL levels in your blood. Visceral fat or belly fat promotes insulin resistance and releases excess fatty acids into the liver, leading to higher triglyceride and cholesterol production. Sometimes, hormonal conditions like hypothyroidism reduce the liver's ability to clear LDL from the blood which results in elevated LDL cholesterol levels. And finally, soluble fiber plays a key role in cholesterol disposal. It binds to bile acids in the intestine and promotes their excretion. If not excreted, bile acids are recycled into cholesterol. So, a high fiber diet helps lower cholesterol, while low fiber intake can lead to higher cholesterol levels over time. So, to lower cholesterol levels, here is what you need to do. Cut down on saturated fat. Avoid or keep to an absolute minimum of fried foods, cheese, butter, ghee, fatty meats and packaged snacks. These foods directly rise LDL. Choose healthy fats. Consume 1 to 2 teaspoons of cold pressed olive oil without heating. 2 teaspoons of flax seeds or chia seeds plus 2 walnuts and 5 almonds daily. This provides the right kind of fat your body needs. Eat more fiber, especially soluble fiber from foods such as oats, barley, beans, fruits and vegetables. Psyllium husk and inulin are among the strongest sources of soluble fiber. It binds cholesterol and bile acids in your gut and helps flush them out. 
This reduces the body's cholesterol pool and regular bowel movements mean better elimination. Check your thyroid health. TSH should ideally be between 0.5 and 3. In hypothyroidism, where TSH is above 4.5, your LDL clearance slows down. Cholesterol builds up even if your diet is perfect. Maintain a healthy weight. Focus on reducing belly fat and fatty liver, which drives insulin resistance, high triglycerides and increased cholesterol production. You can check out my videos on fatty liver, belly fat and diabetes for practical strategies. But here is the problem. Many people ignore the borderline levels of LDL and triglycerides thinking it's okay. It is not okay. The normal LDL range is below 100. But the ideal target, especially for those at risk, is below 70. Also, many people think they can lower their cholesterol by exercising. Stored fat and cholesterol are two different things in the body. Exercise can help lower cholesterol only when it leads to weight loss, reduction in visceral fat, or reversal of fatty liver. The biggest impact comes from your diet and maintaining a healthy weight. So target a BMI of 23 with little or no visceral fat in the waistline. By keeping your cholesterol levels in check, you are reducing the risk of plaque formation and heart disease by almost 35%. So don't wait till it becomes a problem. Start early. I hope this video helped you understand cholesterol and what to do to lower it naturally. Thank you for watching Nutritional Perspective. I'll see you in the next video.